Good day. Today, we make a maze. First things first, we're going to keep our good friend the block. Let's go ahead then down. We're going to our scale tool. Let's take her down. Somewhat skinny. There we go. Now, let's expand it. Just a little bit. Okay? I'm going to do some more then. Let's go ahead then. Let's go to um, edit mode. Okay? And in this case, we're going to take the top face off this. So let's press our A key. So now we have nothing selected. What we're going to do then, let's select face select mode. Let's take that top face, right click, press our delete button, and let's go ahead here, let's delete the face. So now we've got an open box. Awesome. Let's go back then to uh, object mode. Okay, object mode. Now, let's expand this. Let's expand this. There we go. Looking good. Got a pretty nice maze coming here. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to edit mode. Okay. Select just the face, that bottom face. So we right clicked. Right now, the only thing we should have is uh, that bottom face selected. Okay. At this point, we're going to go ahead to. Uh, we're going to subdivide this, okay? So we're going to go ahead here. Let's click on subdivide. So now that got just got split up into four pieces. Again, now 16. Subdivide again and again. That should be good enough. What we're going to do now is this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a maze out of this. To do that, what we're going to do is go ahead, make sure we've got face select mode selected. We're going to select various uh, uh, various blocks. Okay, do a control um, shift, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. And what we can do is we can go ahead, go to extrude region, and now you can see <laughs> that one went a little too high. Let's go ahead back to extrude region and let's just make that a little bit taller, okay? So now we got that first block. Let's go ahead, shift right click, right click, right click. Remember though, your maze needs to have <laughs> like a way for you to win. So what we'll do is just pick a one part of your maze to have an entrance and an exit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, extrude this other region here. Let's put about the same height as that other one. Then what I'm going to do is, to make my egg entrance and, e and exit, let's go ahead here. Uh, let's select this face here. Let's have it one corner will be our entrance, one corner will be our exit. So let's delete that. And there we go. That's our entrance. Then what we'll do is we'll make an exit over here. Delete faces. Okay, that's my entrance and exit. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to continue to create my maze, make it hard, pretend if someone was coming in over here and trying to get to the other side. Make your maze exciting. Okay? You can add any other objects, do whatever. Another cool thing is I'm going to have you in GIMP make a simple texture. Okay? I'm going to want you to make a simple texture for your walls as well as uh, your other objects, okay? I look forward to your work. Make a cool maze.